In this part, we are going to create the models for inputting the new context and also editing the context. So first we have to copy the initializations. So we copy this and paste it here. And since we already has the elements, so we have to change the name. And we also change this to models. And then we have to init. So we paste it here. And we replace the element with signf and also replace the elements with models. And since we do not have any options, so we can delete this. And now we can back to the index. And under the unordered list, we can copy the this bunch of code and make some testing. Now we are going to edit the model. And since we do not need the footer, we can delete this div. And then we replace this with new contact. And then we open with live server. Now you can see when we click on the models button, the models will pop up. And when we click on the other area, it will be closed. And then we remove this paragraph and create a form. And there are two input fields. And we create the name is name. And the placeholder is equal to the person name. And this we are going to add the phone numbers. So the type is number and the name is phone. And the placeholder is equal to phone number. Under the input field, we create a button with the cast BTN and add is the test of the button. And under the button, we create a paragraph with the cast of error. If there is error, it will paste the message inside the paragraph. And then we go to the class and we add the class of add contact. Now we go to the website and take a look. And now you can see there is a form for people to enter their person name and also the phone numbers. And then we copy all of this and duplicate. And this time we are going to create a form for people to edit the content. So in the title, we are going to replace with edit content. And the class is edit content. And the button is update. Now we go to the first model and we change this ID to add content model. Now we try to click on the model again. And now you can see the edit content. So this is also correct. So we go to this and we change this to the ID with edit content model. And at last we back to the unorder list. And under the unorder list, we create a div with container. And inside this, we create the unordered list with class of contacts collections and also with header and this you can find inside the materialized CSS documentations and we just has one list item with collection header and the h4 header we type contacts we will not put other list item inside here because we will put it inside here by program later with using the Firebase. So at last, we can delete this model button because later we will trigger the model by clicking the icons of the list item. So now we back to our page and delete this model trigger.